yo what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel it's been a, i've been out for about two weeks now um had an accident about two weeks ago kind of recovering from it still wanted to just do a video guys i'm i've been always been a call of duty fan so um call of duty 6 uh black ops 6 got call of duty black ops 6 got um uh, introduced this weekend and guys it is looking great Let's go ahead and touch a few points that they got to talk about um, over there, the Call of Duty Direct this weekend. Um, as you know, this is a Treyarch game. They always do Black Ops, and they always do it justice. So that's what I always love about Black Ops. Um, the campaign is supposed to be a continuation after Black Ops, um, um, Black Ops Cold War. Which I don't remember that story from Black Ops Cold War like that, so I might have to go and check that one out. Um, that's the game I actually skipped. Um, I didn't necessarily skip it. I played the multiplayer. I didn't play the campaign. So we'll have to check out the the story for that. Um, but what I'm really interested in is the new movement system. They're doing Omni Movement. Like, I've been saying this for forever. Like, you see a lot of other games they have where you do cornering, you can lean, and all that type of stuff. Um, the movement that they're putting in this game, it should have been in the game. Like, that's why I played Rainbow Siege. Siege. It has a, it has a little bit of Omni movement, but it, it's not. I don't think it's completely Omni in Rainbow Six, but, like... I feel like it's gonna change multiplayer, not to mention the campaign mode. Like you can be able to make all kinds of cool videos and action shots and you know, you're gonna be able to do a lot of cool stuff with this system. Um, it, it's gonna change combat in the game for sure. It's gonna be not just straight up. So, you know, you can hear somebody running and you think they're going from point to point, but they could literally be running out sideways to shoot you. Like it is it's gonna be a cool system. Not to mention they still left the sliding in, uh, in a lot of the games, the Modern Warfare series, you you end up losing one feature for another feature. So, like, you know, and then it's going to be where you can toggle some of these options in this. So, um, the system is going to be great. So, if you haven't looked at this part of that video, you should look at it. Um, they talked about characters and um the guns that they're adding and they talk about the hood. Oh, the hood. So they talked about the hood, the hood. Um, you're going to be able to customize your hood now. So that's going to be really, really cool. Um, you're going to be able to put things where you want them at. So for instance, if you want your map on the left, you can put it on the left. If you want it to be in the center. You can put it in the center at bottom. If you want your bullets and stuff to be on the top, you can put them on the top. It's going to be where you can move this stuff around and, and put it the way you want it to be instead of, you know, having to deal with basically. Like, this, these options are options that I feel like we should have been had in games before. I'm really surprised that this is the first game that decided, the first one that decided to do it. But, hey, it's, it's, a, it's a good upgrade. Um... They talked about the prestige system in multiplayer, and in multiplayer, that prestige system is going to be uh, very, it's going back to level prestige, but then you get up to a thousand or something like that. It's going to be very um, grindy, but you know, it's going to be, it's going to have you something you can always go for. Like, you can redo the prestige too, but it's a way to, like I said, peacocking your status or peacocking how much you play and you know when they look at your stats and you prestige 10 or prestige 8 or whatever you know they know you know you know your stuff basically so yeah um they had it show a few of the symbols for prestige in there in there too so as you can see right there in the background um there, there's some of the symbols the server's head being supposed to be the prestige master. I don't know if that's going to be the end of it. Um, so they talked about the maps. We're getting 16 maps in multiplayer, I think they said. Uh, they said Warzone. They hinted at Warzone. I don't know if it's going to be like another update or a download in the opener or is it actually going to be part of the game to start off with. Zombies are coming back. 
The zombie's going to be round-based again. Um, guys, Call of Duty 6 is about to be one of the greatest games for a while. Like, if they make Call of Duty 6 and they don't make a game for five years, I feel like we're going to be able to play it for five years. But, guys, that's all I wanted to talk about. Um, I'll let you guys know that I'm still going to be doing videos. I might switch to doing FPS stuff. Um, or I might start a new channel. I really don't know yet. Um, I really start, still love doing mobile games. And I'm probably going to still do mobile games because I still play them. Still hanging in with Epic 7. I love the characters in that game. Um, I play a little bit of a lot of other ones. Most is just test them out and killing time, but you know I don't, I'm not serious in a lot of those other games. I just do it for the heck of it because they have good events. Some of the world one of the ones that have decent events that make me want to play. And um, um, there's another one. I didn't do any summon sessions for Summon War, but you know I still I still might do some more videos for Summon War and Epic Seven. Um, King of Fighters might show back up. I really haven't been touching that game for a while. Um, I, I do still like the game. I spent some money on the game before. Uh, but I think feature creep is a big thing in King of Fighters, and it's getting no better. And, you know, you really, really just playing it for the characters in that game, too. So, yeah, in the events. But... Yeah, guys, um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and i see you guys. Let me know if you're really, really going to be hyped for this game, too. Uh, see you guys in the next one.